Given the topic at hand, I figured the spezzato look might be most appropriate. But in all seriousness, uh, before I head off to work, I wanted to address the concerns many of you guys had brought up about the alleged discontinuation of the paid channel program by YouTube. For those of you who are not aware, um, and I wasn't either, I was contacted by my friend and yours, Paul Danner, a couple of weeks ago, where he had stated that YouTube is ending the paid channel program and they would be discontinuing all paid channels at the end of August, which would be this month. So about a week left in this program. Uh, I should point out that obviously one of the first things I did was try to contact YouTube content creator support to validate this and I can tell you that I have been completely unsuccessful in getting a response, much less a validation. Um, I have exhausted quite a bit of searches and really have no evidence other than Paul's word, which I don't doubt for a second. Paul has much more at stake at this than I do because he has basically transitioned to YouTube as a, a primary means of his living. And um, I don't doubt for a second the pay channels will be ending. So uh, what I'm going to do is kind of structure a response here in order of the most broad audience affected by this first. And then we'll narrow down to the interest for the current paid channel members and handling things like future content and, uh, of course, possible refunds, things like that and then narrow down to some other aspects that would be more specific, including some of you guys who are interested as channel creators, the impact of this. And many of you guys know Eric the Car Guy has um, sort of taken a hiatus from YouTube and uh, kind of what's going on there from a creator perspective, just so you guys know if you're interested. So we'll start off with the uh, general aspect. And that would be, of course, that most of you guys are wondering, will the paid channel be going off into the free channel world? And the answer to that would be, of course, a resounding no for three major reasons. And the first reason is strictly a ethical reason. It is because it would be wrong for all of the people who have been paying for content for uh, almost two years now, I guess about a year and a half or so that I've been doing this, and then suddenly make all that content free. To put it in perspective, it would be somewhat akin if you were paying for a technical school program or a university degree, and for two years you've been paying for this, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the university says, you know what, we've decided decided we're going to make all of our content free to anybody and everybody and if you've been paying for it all this time tough beans and that is just really the wrong thing to do so that's the primary motivation for this it's out of respect for the paying subscribers and uh, making sure that we protect their vested interest the second reason would be strictly a business decision. Obviously, it would be a very bad business move to move the content, which has a obviously defined market value, and then move that to free content. I consider my YouTube channel at least to be a business. And uh, for those YouTube channels that do generate revenue, at least uh, those that generate a significant revenue, I believe that that is the proper way to look at it. It is not like I am some 13-year-old girl sitting in her bedroom talking about makeup. Well, maybe this video is not all that different, but in general, I'd like to think most of my content does have marketable value and there is a business aspect to keeping the paid content, not to mention the fact that it does actually generate um, quite, quite a bit of revenue, actually four or five times that that the free channel does, believe it or not. So uh, the third reason actually is completely personal, and that would be uh, you guys know me pretty well, and um, it's just kind of nice to keep that slap in the face for all of the hundreds of people who said the pay channel would be an abysmal failure, and uh, continuing to slap them in the face with every new pay channel subscriber that I've got. Um, it's a better slap in the face to continue that success of the pay channel even without the support of YouTube. So a little bit of a selfish reason, I guess. But anyway, that um, basically answers some questions, especially for you guys wondering what will happen to that content. Now let's narrow down the interest to those of you guys who are currently paid subscribers. So everybody else, you're free to take off. If you are currently a paid subscriber, there are a couple of major aspects here. The first one is the production of new content. And of course, that is not going to happen at this point until I find out for sure what's going on. So there will be no more content. You certainly are free to cancel the subscription, but if you think about it, 
I only have monthly subscriptions. So really your best course of action, your smartest course of action is simply to just hang on through the end of the month. And then when the paid content is discontinued, if it is, then of course you would not have your renewal for the next month and the months thereafter. Now that would take care of course with any refunds, except for those of you guys who have just recently joined. That could be a problem because you would have paid your full $5 or $4.49, whatever it is. And then you would only be getting partial content, especially if you say subscribe just today, you would only get about a week if this whole thing is true. I am hoping, and again, I have seen no evidence whatsoever this will happen. And I know that those of you guys who are subscribers have had no notification whatsoever, but I would hope that YouTube would do a prorated refund for such people. If they do not, then you have my word that if I have to write out thousands of dollars in checks in prorated refunds, I will certainly do that because it's the ethical thing to do. Now that said, um, for me, it's a little different. I want to talk just a second about my good friend, Paul. For him, it is different because he has the yearly subscriptions. I opted not to do yearly subscriptions. First of all, because I thought what happens if this day ever comes, that could be a, a serious problem. And the second thing is what if I got hit by a bus or something and the production of videos ends, you guys would be kind of ripped off a bit, right? Being stuck with a year. So um, just want to talk about my friend Paul. For him, this is a completely different situation. And I am asking you guys out of respect for Paul, if you are members of his paid channel, the best course of action for you to do is honestly to just sit tight, not to cancel your subscriptions, not to request refunds at this point, but just sit tight and see what happens. I'm sure Paul will fight to make everything square with you guys, but uh, it would be um, quite honestly a major, major catastrophe for Paul if everybody were to suddenly cancel their subscriptions. So um, if you want to do that for me, um, by all means, that's fine and we'll work something out. But uh, if you're a member of Paul's channel, please don't do that. Um, just hang tight and I'm sure he'll make things right. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. It goes without saying that if I'm not going to be producing new content, uh, I should address those of you guys who are in a third group. And that is those of you guys who have the intent of joining the paid channel. Oddly for you guys, I am going to strongly recommend you not do that at this time. Your best course of action would be to wait till after August and then we'll see what happens. And if they do indeed discontinue this, well, you wouldn't be able to join anyway. And uh, I will work on some thing. I'm not quite sure what to make the paid channel content available. So uh, that leaves one final demographic. And that is those of you guys who I have made the paid content available to because you are in a third world country or you're in a country. I should correct that. Not necessarily a third world country, a country where the paid content was never made available in general. That would be the third world countries. That program will continue. And as a matter of fact, uh, that is one of my strategies is to use that current platform and make that pay accessible to the viewers of the paid channel that uh, are in the approved countries. So um, again, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. And the final closeout here is that I will be producing the free channel content still. Um, we'll kind of see how that direction goes. Uh, as you guys know, the situation with YouTube, I'm sure you are well aware, even if you're not a content creator, has changed. And this is uh, not nearly as uh, remunerative as it used to be. But YouTube has definitely changed some policies where if you are approaching YouTube as either a money making venture or a hobby that pays you or a business as I do, or in some cases as a career, well, in any of those situations, you will find it harder to achieve those goals, especially as a career, that's for sure. And um, I'm not gonna make this a big uh, soapbox session about YouTube or anything, but they have definitely made some policy changes that have severely impacted the financial aspect for content creators. And it's hard to really understand, especially from the paid channel perspective, because quite honestly, uh, the paid channel, um, YouTube can make a lot of money off of those. And I've got to think that there's got to be something where YouTube makes far more money off the ad revenue than they do off of taking 50% of a subscribership. 
Um, that is hard to imagine, but I'm assuming that must be the only explanation and that the administrative costs just make it justified that they are better off with the free content and the ad revenue from that, uh, which basically kind of validates that they are probably really screwing content creators on the ad revenue if that is the explanation, that it is just more profitable for them to do it that way. Um, but uh, whatever the case is, I intend on continuing to produce the content. We will carry the paid channel content somewhere else, but uh, you know, maybe you guys should also start thinking about rallying some support for those content creators that, unlike me, are much more severely affected financially. Guys like Eric the Car Guy, uh, certainly Paul Danner, I imagine some other guys, where they had started making much of their career off of YouTube, and I can tell you, those guys are, are probably hurting pretty bad. Um, so, you know, definitely rally some support for them. And, you know, hopefully things will get better and uh, we'll just kind of see how things go. But uh, thanks uh, very much for your guys' support, especially you guys with the paid channel. I will certainly figure something out that is fair for you guys. Don't worry about that. But uh, we'll just kind of have to, first of all, just play a waiting game, see what happens after the end of the month. And I assure you that we will square everything away, whether I owe you guys a refund if YouTube doesn't do it. We'll figure out uh, a new platform for us to hang out on and we'll get it figured out. But uh, just stick with me and I promise we'll see this through. So thanks for your support and we'll see you soon.